Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, a researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today, I want to talk about which diabetes diet is best for a recently diagnosed type 2. After you watch the video today, I invite you to check out the description box for my new ebook. This is one of the most comprehensive diabetes meal planning books you'll find anywhere. It contains diabetes friendly meals and recipes, recipes for different goals such as 800 to 1800 calories per day meal plans, diabetes meal planning tips and tricks. There are also tons of diabetes friendly recipes for everyone. Now when it comes to this question, I find it very difficult to answer because the same diet might be great for me, but not so great for you. So what I'm going to give you today is a basic diet for someone with type 2 diabetes. You may need to modify it for your particular situation. Now there are many diets out there. There are carb counting diets, plate diets, low carb, high fat diets. I mean, I could spend the rest of our time just listing diet suggestions from all over the spectrum. But I will instead give you a diet that has worked for several, and actually thousands of others, and it really is not that difficult to follow. A very good rule of thumb for a type 2 diabetes diet is to increase your intake of fruit, veggies, and grains, and decrease your intake of bad fats and sugar. Now, does this mean you can't have meat and potatoes and a cookie every now and again? No, it doesn't. It just means moderation is the key in those situations. Another key is to eat. Really, eat. Rather than have three full meals per day, I suggest five or six small ones per day to keep your blood sugar on an even keel. Now, I don't mean you have to prepare six meals. Some of these meals may well be snacks, but healthy snacks with a purpose. Now, you can count calories if you like. You can count carbs if you like. But honestly, I've never counted a calorie in my life. Now, I have counted carbs, and that might also be something you would want to do. But I suggest you look at low glycemic load foods and eat them as much as possible. Now, a glycemic load is a great way to see how a food will interact with your blood sugar. Now, you've heard of the glycemic index, I'm sure. But that just gives you a number when a certain amount of food is eaten compared to a control, and they really aren't all alike. The GL does use the GI system, but it takes it further and uses actual portion size. So I suggest you get a good, reliable GL index. There are several of them out there, and there are several online. You can email me, and I'll be happy to help you. Eat foods that are low GL, which is 10 or below in the proportions given. Again, your main diet will consist of grains, veggies, fruits, as well as fish. But you can eat a hamburger every now and again, have a piece of cake on occasion. Here's what your daily food intake might include. Healthy carbs, fruit, legumes, vegetables, whole wheat grains, and wheat bran. Fiber-rich foods, such as nuts and beans. Heart-healthy fish salmon, mackerel, tuna, good fats like avocados, almonds, olives, and one of my favorite superfoods, walnuts. Foods to avoid would include saturated fats, trans fats, cholesterol, and sodium. Now you avoid those on a daily basis, but they're not banned forever. It is of utmost importance to eat a very nice, hearty, and healthy breakfast. Now, you can check out a couple of videos I produced on breakfast. It is a vital way to start the day. You basically start there and then eat every two to three hours. You can eat breakfast, say, at 8 a.m. By 10 or 11, have a small meal, fruits, nuts, a small sandwich. Have lunch at 1. Maybe it's a bit more substantial. Continue this process throughout the day, trying not to eat anything or very little after 8 or 9 o'clock. Also, be sure to exercise as much as you can. And don't feel bad to have that ice cream cone every now and then. Grill up a big steak once a month. It's okay. Have that glass of milk and a peanut butter sandwich on white bread. It's okay to fall into your cravings on occasion. It will help you from binge eating later. Don't forget to get my new ebook and please subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this one in the future. I want to thank you so much for watching, 
I'm Ty Mason.